I'm going for the tight end right here. His man coverage, I'm going to throw that comeback route. Give me a little bit of time. I think we got him. I think we got him. I think we got him. Yes, sir. Get, get, you got to get there. You got to get there, ball. Come on. Yes, sir. Nice little one play touchdown to the tight end. I'll take it. In this video, we're going to be continuing the 32 team series where we have to use a team and their playbooks. Again, though, we are going to continue to keep using the Chiefs defense, but we will be using the Colts offense. Now, the Colts offense is well known around Madden 24. It's been one of the meta playbooks since the beginning. But I do want to show y'all two formations we're going to favor. One is going to be the gun doubles off close week. Let's just jump into the um, little scheme that we're going to be running. It's going to be the X dagger, the RPO zone read bubble, uh, the double post and the PA Y cross. I want to say I've talked about this formation because we did uh, make a video specifically for this RPO and we'll go over it briefly in the practice field. Um, and the other formation we also did go over uh this 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 playbook has endless formations but the other one is going to be gun trips tight end flex um we're going to be focusing on the play eagles post rail now i know it says eagles but i promise you this is the coach playbook and these are going to be the go-to plays y out in up the rpo alert uh the verticals and then the go-to is going to be eagles post rail um that's the little scheme we're going to run out of the gun trips so we're going to jump into the practice field show you how we set these plays up and then get into some head-to-head -head action and showing you all these being used against real users all right the first formation we're going to be talking about is going to be the the formation gun doubles off close week and we're going to start off with the rpo because this is going to be the bread and butter of this little scheme out of this formation um and i'm going to show you a little trick with it with any of these rpos where the quarterback can keep the ball i'm going to show you a little trick um so this is one of those rpos where it's three options you can hand it off to the running back keep it with the quarterback or dump it to the bubble now you see the guy with the r above his head he's the guy that's going to read if i'm going to hand it off or keep it with the uh, quarterback but if you double team him he will always go for the running back so it's going to always leave you a little lane um to at least get five yards and probably more if you have a running quarterback now another uh Another play we're going to run out of this formation, we're going to actually motion over this guy right here. So I'm going to do it just for this RPO too. And it's just going to help the RPO, but we're, we're trying to make everything look the same. So like, let's say we run the RPO the first time, and then the second time we do it, we're going to hit him with the money play. But let me just show you. Watch the guy that's supposed to be reading that we have the double team on. He's going to always go for the running back no matter what. And then look at the blocks we get right here, and we can even cut this out even more and turn this into something big. So every time you're going to double team the guy with the R above his head, and you're going to get really good yards that's basically it now if the handoff looks good the bubble screen looks good by all means take one or the other but for the most part you're going to keep it with the quarterback all right the next play we're going to be talking about is going to be the play pay cross this play goes hand in hand with the rpo because we're going to make it look the same now real quick about this play if you're on the right hash you want your two wide receivers to start off on the left side if you're on the left hash you want them to start off on the right side what we're going to do is the same thing as the rpo motion over the solo wide receiver put them on a street put y on a slant put X on a comeback, and then it's up to you if you want to keep the running back on that little play action. If you know they're sending heat at you, get out of the play action. Either block the running back, put them on a five and in, five and out, whatever you prefer. But this is going to be a possible one play touchdown against all zone coverages, and if you do got a good route running tight end, um, this also can be a uh, just terrible throw by uh, Richardson right there. But let's, let's go ahead and run one more and get y'all a good looking one um that's kind of my fault though i do got to get my timing down but again if they are sending heat get out of that play action don't stay in it but this will bomb all zone coverages and man coverage if you do got a good route running tight end but right there you can see how wide open we are that's against cover three it'll look the same against cover four and cover two the throws might be a little bit different depending on the safety but for the most part you're going to get the same results all right the next play up is going to be the play double post this is going to be another money play but it's going to be set up a little bit different as you can see we did move the ball from right hash to left this setup, if you're on the left hash, you want the two wide receivers to the short side. So that'll be the left side. If you're on the right hash, you would want them on the right side. It's going to be a little bit different of a setup. What you're going to do is actually motion the solo wide receiver out, put him on a comeback, put your tight end on a streak. What I like to do with the running back and X is put him on in routes like this. And we're going to be looking for Y in the middle of the field right here. This is also a nice one play touchdown against all zone coverages. If you have to get out the pocket, y'all already know if I can, I will. And you're going to see right here, just get the timing down with your quarterback and you can easily get greens and sometimes blue depending on your quarterback's attributes. But that's going to be another one play touchdown setup with this formation. All right, the next play I want to talk about is going to be the play X Daggers, and this is going to be a very simple 
nice third down play that will throw your opponent off. You can either start off with this play or just add it in the mix when you need a third down or just 10 yards or something like that. And all you got to do is put the tight end on a flat route. You can also put the running back on a wheel route or some type of out route or in route. But I do like the default route that he's on. I'm just going to put him on a swing route. Um, but the go-to is going to be X. Everything else clears out the middle of the field. You just got to pay attention to the user. But I promise you they won't be ready for X in the middle of the field. Let me just show you what this looks like. It does take a little bit of time to develop. But he'll always be wide open in the middle of the field. And you can combo the running back and the tight end with different routes if you want to. Like you can put the tight end on a drag and the running back on an in route. Let me actually go ahead and audible. Uh, go ahead and put the tight end on a drag and the running back on an in route. This is another way you can run it. Um, that'll make sure we get rid of that user in the middle of the field. And you can see X is going to be wide open. I would like. I usually like to save this play for like third down and just kind of throw my opponent off. But that's going to be the little scheme out of this formation. You got two money plays, a really good run play, and a nice third down money play. All right, next up, we do got the gun trips tight end flex scheme that we got going on. These are going to be the four plays. I'm not going to talk about the RPO because it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm pretty sure y'all seen this specific RPO a thousand times. Um, I am going to talk about the verticals because the way I run it is a money play setup and also the same thing with the Eagles post rail. This is going to be a third down setup or a money play setup. And also, this is probably the best play out of all of them, the Y out in and up. They're just not going to be ready for it. But let's talk about the Eagles post rail. I promise you this is the coach playbook, but the Eagles also have this play as well. Um, I'm going to just show y'all. Y'all already seen this setup a million times from me. You're going to put X on a streak, Y on a, zag, uh, a zig. Streak the running back and motion them over. This is my go-to setup. Y'all see me run it a million times. You can put the tight end on whatever route you want. You can put them on a drag route, out route, keep them on the post route. Um, what you can also do is actually put the running back on an in route like this to kind of keep the, the user in the middle of the field. And then you have a nice post in the middle. But y'all already know the go-to, the zig or the corner right here. You just got to do a high-low read and make a simple... Hopefully your wide receiver catches the ball, but make a simple read like that. That is going to be the the bread and butter out of this formation. But now let's talk about the money play setup to the tight end. You're going to put B on a streak, X on a comeback, Y on a slant, and then you can kind of do whatever you want with the running back. You can keep them on this wheel route just in case it's a man coverage or cover one. That's a nice little one play touchdown. Um, which I will just leave them on the wheel route, but the go-to is going to be the tight end right here. Again, if you have a good route running tight end, you can easily turn this uh, into a one-play touchdown, even against man. Okay, that's the second missed ball. I mean, those throws were perfect. Went straight through. That's the second one, right? Straight through my wide receiver's hands. But y'all see what happened right there. Um, this is cover three, but the same thing will happen against cover four and cover two. Um, and even cover four quarters. And again, if you have a good route running tight end, you can also beat man coverage. This is actually one of those post routes that breaks really well against man coverage. And now I just can't throw the ball. You see what I'm trying to do, though. You see it working. I'm getting wide open. Um, so we do have the bread and butter set up to the corner. And then we got a nice little setup to the post um, from the tight end. So that's going to be it for that play. The next play I want to talk about is going to be the play verticals. Um, now you are going to want to go ahead and move the ball over because the hash mark is going to matter for this money play. This money play is probably a little bit better than the one we just did because you're going to get a faster wide receiver running it instead of a tight end. Um, but if you're on the left hash, you want your trips to the left side. If you're on the right, you want your trips to the right. And you're going to go ahead and motion over the outside wide receiver. You can also motion over the running back. It's up to you, but just in case you want them thinking you could possibly still run it, I'd rather motion over the wide receiver. Put him on a comeback route. I like to put Y on an uh, in route and also my running back on an in route and then streak the tight end. Similar concept as what we just did, but this time it's going to be to the wide receiver coming across the middle. And you can also beat man coverage depending on your running back, or I'm sorry, your wide receiver, but it's also going to bomb cover two, cover three, and cover four. So you got two money plays from the previous formation. You got two money plays with this formation. Um, you got a good RPO out of this formation, a good RPO out of the other formation. And then this is probably the best play of them all because it's just going to throw your opponent off. Now, hold on. Let's go ahead and move back to the other hash. Now, it doesn't necessarily matter what the go-to guy that we're going to throw to, but I'm going to show you something real quick. Let, let's say they are in a cover two or cover two man. Y'all already know how I bomb that. It's going to be with the middle wide receiver. You're just going to put him on a streak, and then you can easily bomb cover two or cover two man. But let me go ahead and show you the setup. So same thing, motion over the outside wide receiver or the running back. But I do prefer this because it'll make your uh, your opponent think you can still run the ball. 
I do like to smart route the route by Y and then go ahead and put X on a streak. You can keep the running back on the route that he's on or you could put him on an out route. It's really up to you or you could even put him on a curl route like this. But you're basically going to get a high low read between the running back and A right here. But this is super slept on. Your opponent's just not going to expect this route right here. But let me just show you what it looks like. Once he makes that second cut, you can just throw it to an outside shoulder. And you can easily turn this into a one play touchdown because usually it's like one, maybe two guys to beat. But this is 100% my favorite uh, play out of this because not only do you have um, basically a high-low read between your running back and A, uh, you also have the cover one, or I'm sorry, the cover two or cover two man bomb up the middle with B. So you're going to have that go to to the right. And then if you they are in those specific defenses, you have the one play touchdown to the wide receiver in the middle. Let's just show you that this is very consistent, though. That push was crazy. Um, and you can even wait even longer if you want to. Uh, I, I had to right there. I was trying to watch the pocket and see what was going on. But you see, we're still able to get it off. And then again, you have the RPO. You know, if they're giving you a good look. Go ahead and throw it to the bubble route. Keep it with the running back. Whatever, you know, looks good to you. Just got to read that defense. But that's going to be the little scheme for the trips tied in. You got the scheme from the other formation. We're going to take this into some head-to-head -head games and show you how effective it can be against real users. All right, so like I said, on defense, we are going to stay in KC. We're going to keep running this blitz. I've been loving it. Y'all seen it in the, uh, if y'all been catching the stream, we've been going crazy with it. It's just fun. It's, it's, it's refreshing. It's not the same cover four hybrid I've been running. It's just a little bit different. And we're just making our opponents make mistakes left and right. Like right there, almost a pick off a rip. First play of the game. If y'all haven't checked out the defense on this Max Sting 3, go check it out. I promise you, you'll enjoy using this defense. And like I tell everybody, this is a high risk, high reward type of defense. Don't try to act like I said, this is going to shut down everything because you will get scored on if you mess up or make a mistake on your adjustments or with your user. But so far, y'all see, we actually getting some pretty good results. Let me bring this guy down. Don't call her yet. Ah, I got caught, clicked on. But we still made the play. That's where I was going to make the play with my user anyways. We're going to try to start the drive off with the money played to the tight end. Let's see what we can do right here. This might be a cover four, cover four quarters. Get good blocks. I think he got stuck on the O-line or the D-line. Oh, but we did a terrible throw. That was under pressure. That was such an ugly throw, and I was trying to throw it underneath, and it went over top. Uh, I seen the cornerback over there. They didn't drop back for the, the comeback route, so he's probably running a match. All right, so this time, I'm going to use this guy. Give me that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was such a beautiful play. That was such a beautiful play. The Colts just have so much speed at DB2. They go crazy with this defense. You got to make a little couple more plays for me to remember your name. It's like real life. I think that's Dan, that dude Daniels. Look at that. that. That's crazy defense. That's just crazy work right there. All right, so we're setting up just in case it is a cover two. We got X in the middle, but if not, we're going to go ahead and hit the tight end. Call it. We got the tight end. We do got X in the middle. Can we lead it in to the I don't know if we had Come on, man. This man has not been able to get anything off. If he does a screen three times in a row... And gets it off the... I did not mean to do that with my guy. But good thing the pressure got there. I don't know what happened to my user right there. I like this. Scoot him over. Can I scoot my linebackers over? Oh, we put him in the right spot. Right spot. Right spot. Oh, I could have scored right there probably. But we trying to get some offense for y'all too. Put X on a streak. I don't know. He's, his defense is messed up right now. Might want to check on his guys. Yeah, I don't know what he's got going on. We're going to take advantage of that, though. Get your defense right. Get your defense right. All right, so this man has not been able to get past this defense, and I'm loving it. We're going to keep, we're just going to keep sending it at him. We're going to keep sending it at him. That's how I usually get my picks right there. That, that set up right there where I blitz everybody, and I use it at curl flat. I'm going to go for the bread and butter right here. Now, usually when I do this, I force, I for, okay, it looked like he went to, he might have just went to cover two or cover one. I'm going to set up for man coverage with the wheel route for Taylor. But we still got our zone set up on the left side. So if it's zone, we're going for the high-low read. If it's man, hopefully a cover one, which it looks like it is. No, it's actually zone. So we were set up for either one. If it was zone or man, it took me a little too long to read that it was actually zone. But he did throw me. He threw me off because he aligned his man and it was a zone coverage. 
So good work by him, but then we actually, we still ended up getting the open guy right there with the corner route. So we were able to set up for both. Ended up working in our favor. I'm surprised this man has not quit. I am surprised this man has not quit. Oh, there it goes again. Let's go ahead and get down and get some more offense for y'all. I don't know why this guy don't want to quit. All right, we got fourth and ten. We're setting up for zone coverage or man coverage. He's been running a little bit of both. Um, this does look like man coverage. So if it is, y'all already know what we're going for. We're going for a crow route, and it is. We're gonna get a time and throw. Throw it before the cornerback's ready for it. I'll take that all day. Looks like he's going back to man coverage. So I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna just hit him with the crow route. Let's get a block by my running back. We'll keep everything like this. Just gonna go for that B wide receiver on a curl. And it's there. I threw it a little too late, but we still got it there. I'll take it. Give me that line down. Let's go ahead and go for the RPO. That's what it's there for. Let's get a double team on Big Boy, though. That is a must. And let's ID Ja. Even though I don't think we don't have to ID him because he's going to follow the bubble screen. Let's ID the middle linebacker. I think we should be good right here for the run. Yeah. Yes, sir. Just like that, we got that scheme going. Even though it really wasn't the scheme because we just went for some curl routes right there. But, hey, sometimes you got to make adjustments. All right, real quick, we're going to go ahead and go over the depth chart for the Colts for anybody that uses the Colts and wants to use the setup with that defense and on offense with the things we've been running. Nothing too crazy, but I do make sure these two guys get play time because he does have the speed for me. Second fastest guy, 92 speed, so they do get some play time. Six foot three, six foot one is not bad, actually. Um, tight end, I didn't start him, but I normally do start Woods. I did sub him in a couple of plays. Um, 85 speed over 80 is just way better and I, I would even go as far as putting this guy as the backup just in case um speed is always king normally what i do is i sub in the left tackle and the i swap the left tackle and the left guard because i do prefer the better blockers on the edges so you'll have this left tackle at uh, i'm sorry this left guard at left tackle and this left tackle at left guard if that made any sense but let's go ahead and get to the dbs this is how i like to run it um speed if i know that they might possibly try to throw deep. I love to have this guy pressed, and I'll just make sure I put him on a deep third. He'll get a lot of picks for me. Six foot three, 95 speed. You cannot teach that. He is a ball hawk when it comes to 50 50 balls and getting downfield. Moore is just the second best guy up that can um, get downfield for me, 91 speed. Not that great. If I know he's got somebody in front of him that's a. Uh, you know 93 speed or better i'll back them up a little bit but for the most part i try to let i try to let the guy name speed actually make some plays by being pressed up um this is going to be my two slots right here really just filler six foot one six foot one 91 speed these are going to be the guys that you're bluff blitzing with coming off the edges um safety this guy crossing is uh, i keep calling him crossing because i'm used to i forgot the other guy named crossing his name is just cross but he is a baller, six foot, 92 speed. He is a really, really good user. He doesn't play like he has 82 change of direction. He plays like he has way better change of direction than that. Over the top, we got black one, 90 speed, really just a filler. Nobody, I mean, you can you can kind of swap these two guys around if you want, but I do like Nick where he's at because he makes better plays when he's on that curl flat. Um, sub, let's go to sub real quick. These are going to be my subs. This guy slept on. He's a really good sub linebacker. Six foot one, 91 speed, 93 acceleration, and a really good change of direction, 86. This guy is just a filler to get to the quarterback. We're blitzing him 99.9% .9 of the time. Good speed at linebacker. Really good person to just get at the quarterback and get through that A-gap pressure. Um, remember to sub in your one and two, or your, I'm sorry, your three and four cornerbacks to one and two at slot. Again, these are the guys blitzing off the edge that you're going to be using for the most part. Pretty solid users. I made some plays with uh, a few times with, I forgot which one it was, honestly, but they're damn near the same player. But that's going to be it for the depth chart. That's going to be it for this video.